We are back, and since the pandemic started, colleges, of course, have had to make some changes, not just for current students, but for the ones who are applying to the schools as well. Two On Your Side's Lauren Hall has more on some of the changes from local colleges and universities and why some of the virtual options may be here to stay. In one word, I would say for my family and I, it was definitely hectic. Olivia Patillo is a senior at Ellicottville Central School. For the last year, she's been on the search for the perfect college in the middle of a pandemic. Five out of the seven or eight colleges I applied to, I couldn't even visit. <laughs> it was like so, it was so weird. And I honestly, I don't know if I would have liked it better at one of the other schools that I didn't get to visit because I just didn't get to go. Local colleges we spoke to for this story have all adopted virtual tour models in the last year. At St. Bonaventure, they found that the online sessions were often a hook that led to students booking a visit for a one-on-one -on -one in-person tour. It's created a world of opportunities um, and instant information for families, uh, kind of unlike any other way we've ever had it before. It, it used to be if you didn't look it up on the website, you wanted to call or be here in person to ask somebody. Well, now we can set up a Zoom on a moment's notice and we're good to go. And at UB, the virtual world is helping admission staff tap into their alumni base to help prospective students make their decisions. We can actually manufacture an intimate experience for our incoming students because we now have the technology and the cultural acceptance to be able to do it. Two or three years ago, could you imagine being uh, called by your college to talk to a freshman? Probably not, but now you're probably more receptive to that invitation because you're like, oh yeah, it's a 15 minute Zoom call. I can handle this. I definitely ended up where I really hoped I would be. Olivia made her final choice this week. She'll be going to Siena College near Albany to study marketing. It's one of the schools she was able to visit in person, even if one of them was a drive through tour only. I know that I'm going to be super happy at Siena and love it and just be able to be myself there and kind of adventure. And I'm really, really excited. And back at St. Bonaventure, they saw applications increase by almost 10% this year, which is an all time high. Now they're in the process of expanding their admissions department so they have enough staff to accommodate families through both the virtual options and in-person recruiting avenues when those become more available in the future. Another reason that applications are up across the board, the new test optional policies and easing of requirements. We'll dive into that part of the story tomorrow. Reporting in the newsroom, Lauren Hall, Channel 2 News.